Hey, this is Andreas from Pocketable.com and in this video I'm going to show you Jump Desktop for the iPad. Uh, Jump Desktop is a client app that uses the VNC or RDP protocols for uh, remote controlling a computer or other device that's capable of VNC. Um, so uh, right now I have connected both my Bluetooth keyboard and my Bluetooth mouse to uh, the iPad. Uh, the mouse requires jailbreaking, the keyboard doesn't. So if I just head into Jump Desktop you can see that I actually have two options for connecting to my computer. Uh, the first one is essentially just VNC connection and the second one is an RDP connection. You can see that it's actually marked. Um, you don't need to enable both, uh, they're completely different protocols, so um, I prefer RDP, but uh, I thought I would leave um, VNC enabled just to show you how it were, uh, looks when you uh, open the app. So, I'm going to connect via RDP, um, and I'm actually using a local connection right now, but as far as speed goes, uh, it should be fairly representative of how it's like on a fast internet connection just from what I've seen having actually used it on an internet connection for well hours and hours and hours so uh, right now I'm actually working on the review itself so you can see that I'm logged onto the uh, WordPress user account panel uh, you can see that scrolling is a little bit laggy uh, that's just RDP isn't actually capable of sort of keeping up with the same speeds as for instance Splashtop. It's not really a big issue for me because whenever I use this I normally use apps where it's more important to actually be able to uh, just have access to the computer rather than have perfect uh, frame rates for instance. Uh, I don't need to see a perfect frame rate when I type something or anything like that uh, as long as it's... Um, um, as long as it actually works at all. I'm just going to lower the brightness a little bit so hopefully it's easier to see in the video. Um, so basically anything you can imagine that works on your normal computer would work here. It's automatically been resized to 1024 by 768. I actually have dual 1080p monitors on my computer, so it's basically removed that second monitor. Uh, something I had some issues with is Splashtop because it doesn't do that. Uh, if you want, you can use apps like uh, um, Photoshop. And because, uh, and more about this in the main article, because the jailbreak tweak I use for the mouse actually has special support for, um, for Jump Desktop, it actually has perfect... Um, mouse control as well, so uh, however uh, accurate you can be with uh, a normal computer mouse, uh, you can be with a jump desktop, and similarly you can also use right click, which you can't normally when you use this jailbreak tweak. Um, other than just using Photoshop, I generally just use this for things like uh, OpenOffice and uh, some PDF um, PDF handling and things like that. Um, use on power apps that require a lot of processing. Uh, I also use this a lot for just basically using the browser because it gives me full access to Java and uh, Flash as well as upload capabilities. And while it's possible to get that uh, with other apps on the iPad as well, I, I just think it's easier when you have this capability of just uh, logging in and doing it that way. So, uh, this works fairly well for what I use it for. Uh, I don't really have many complaints about it. And this basically replaces a, a computer completely for me. I know that some find the lag unbearable. Uh, personally, I think that not being able to use a device that I can just carry with me that weighs 300 grams is more of an issue. Uh, because that's what you're faced with when you're using a full-fledged Windows device. Um, but yeah, uh, not much else to sh tell because you already know how Windows works. Uh, so like I said, it's fast enough for me and uh, I do recommend this app. Especially if you're jailbroken and can use the mouse because uh, that really do help it a lot. So um, 
that's it. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out my full review on pocketables.com.